You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here, the gentleman poet, storyteller, and NACA contributor. Back for another show and more bone chilling truth. And if you haven't already subscribed to CNA TV, please be so kind and hit the subscribe button down below. If you can't load up and come to the Ozarks, then come. Take the journey with me. Blue sky, white sun, and rolling green hills. Mmm. The wind blowing makes the treetops talk. The changing seasons pulls us like a magnet to new adventure. Autumn blessings fall on the farm. The best views, nature's gifts. Fall in love with crisp autumn air, crunchy, colorful leaves, and pumpkins. Sitting outside, I'm surrounded by the aromas of autumn. The chill makes the air smell different. Friends light their wood stoves and fireplaces. These are folks who can identify the type of wood burning by its distinctive scent. The pups and I were up at 4 a.m. this morning after food for the pups, oatmeal and coffee for me, we took in the sights and sounds of the Ozarks. Friends, the gift of making today your moment in time, whether you're 16 or 60, I encourage you to have the courage to find the magic in this day. Go out of your way to appreciate the deserving things right here before you. People who matter. Places that will inevitably change and circumstances that get rearranged all too easily. Do more than just stop and smell the roses. Search them out. Plant new ones in the places you pass by. Send bouquets of flowers to the people you care about. Remember that there's more to appreciate in this moment than we realize. Years from now, the truth of this will shine. And one of your sincere regrets will be not knowing how good you had it at the time. The world has enough sorrow of its own. For us to add to it would be such a shame. Sometimes it is difficult, but nothing is sweeter than balancing out the bad that is beyond your control with the goodness and greatness that is within reach. Let us always try our best. May we find our own special ways of making happiness a permanent part of our lives rather than an occasional guest. Remember, Nagi always said, the happy have whole days and those they choose. The unhappy have but hours and those they lose. Your gift to life is a thoroughly consistent and beautiful one. You simply present yourself to those around you as one full of kindness and full of sunshine, bringing cheer 
and glad smiles of welcome. You quietly walk and go warmly through life, honored and beloved by all who know you. And wherever you have been, you leave people happier and better for having been with them. Let me share this poem, Gentle Wisdom. My grandma one time told me that she thought when she was small, having family together was just about the nicest day of all. I sat and listened quietly until her story's through. And then I say I'm thankful for a grandma just like you. Oh, sweet memories. Friends, gentle wisdom that will get you through just about anything. Appreciate with all your heart the best of life. Do everything within your power to pass the test of life and learn how to live with the rest of life. Remember that life is short. Its golden moments need hopes and memories and dreams. The days are too precious to let these things slip away. If you work, it's a sacrifice for a time when you're going to pay yourself back with something more important than money could ever be. Love, smile, time is your fortune and you can spend it to bring more joy to yourself and to others your whole life through. These gifts of life, enjoy yourself. Pack as much health and fresh thought within you as possible. Thanks for joining me, friends. The pups, Cora Mae and Bubba, are ready for chow time once again. <laughs> so I'll see you next week. As always, you can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47 This is John Willard from the farm.